In this video, we're going to learn how to make a projectile, bullet, missile, any of those things. You'll see I've got a fairly traditional Space Invaders type setup here, and let's look at how we do it. So I'm going to go to my player object, and I've got all these things set up, including, and I'll just create this one afresh for you, um, just get rid of that. So we're going to, when I press the space bar, then up here in the second tab, I'm going to create a moving object. It's going to be the bullet object. Now, for the X and Y, I'm actually going to make these relative. So they'll come from wherever that object is. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put the Y up a little bit. So I'm going to put it minus. Now, my, space, my object is 32 from side to side. So I'd need 16 to be clear of it. And then my bullet is 8 from side to side. So I'm actually going to make it 20 up so that it comes out of the top of the object. I'm going to give it a speed. I'm going to give it a relatively low speed of, um, let's say, 7. Now, direction's a little bit fiddly, but straight up is 9, and going out to the side to my right is 0. Um, so, let's have a look at what this does in practice. Okay, so here we are, and when I press the space bar, you'll see that I get bullets, and you'll see that I actually get them as often as I press that. If I hold it down, it doesn't work, but certainly I can fill the sky up with bullets. And there are other videos to show you how to limit that, but that's your basic firing mechanism. But just before I finish up, I actually want to show you one thing which really sets you up well for other things, which is I would also make your bullets, go to your bullet object, and when your bullet object um, leaves, so let's go, when the bullet object intersects, where is it? Uh, if it, no, that's not it. There we go. If it intersects the boundary, you could make it bounce, you could make it turn around, but most commonly um, you're going to want it to delete itself. But you've got lots of options there when it comes to that. But I would have something to do with the bullets once they hit the boundary so you don't just have unaccounted for bullets out there. 